And also is extremely important in any type of competitive play. When I first started gaming, I just played on a regular $20 mouse and then I upgraded to a gaming mouse and it made gaming a lot easier. So if you're really looking to take your game up in Overwatch, I think the very first thing you gotta buy is a high performance mouse. The whole thing is about aiming. My greatest gaming kill is probably as Farah in Overwatch. I use my DPI settings on my mouse so I have more precision. So I was able to use my because of blast to actually push people off the edge of the map and then turn around super fast and then slow down my mouse and actually be able to take out a couple more members. It felt pretty badass. <laughs> my mouse is pretty small because I have small hands and I love having side buttons because I play MMOs as well. Back when I was doing WoW Arenas 2v2, I had macros tied to every single button on my mouse. Those were life and death situations. I was able to help get our team up to first place in our server. So I prefer a, a mouse that is not too small, but not too large, not too heavy, uh, just right. degree audio is super important to me as a mostly FPS player. That is a huge competitive edge. That's what's going to determine whether you get that kill or not, whether he kills you first. You know he's coming around the corner. You know what's going to happen because you have that audio as your advantage. And it, it definitely shows in a game like Rainbow Six Siege. The footsteps play a huge role in that game. And in order for you to hear somebody that is right behind you or right behind you and above you is killer. So as far as headphones go, with an open back headphone or a closed back headphone, I do prefer an open back because of how much wider of a sound stage you have. I prefer closed myself. Uh, I like to immerse myself into whatever I'm doing, wherever I'm playing. Um, that way I'm in tune, involved with the game 110%.